Uh, oh man, this is a this is a tricky one. They got they got our man Cuomo, man. Uh, oh man, what did Joe Rogan say? Anyway, uh, if you guys don't know, Chris Cuomo, uh, brother to uh. What was the New York governor name? Andy Cuomo? That was his name. Um, do you remember uh, the guy from New York, uh, the governor of New York, uh, Andy Cuomo? He got he got released. He got fired for uh, uh, sexual harassment. Um, he got a lot of sexual harassment cases. He didn't get fired. I'm sorry. He stepped down uh, because sounds familiar. The name sounds familiar. Yeah, he was the governor of New York. Um, he was like, he was doing, uh, people were really liking what he was doing in New York. They were thinking like he would be a really great presidential candidate in the future. And um, he wasn't really going along with what the government was saying. So then they put all, oh, I'm sorry, that's my conspiracy bag. I was about to go real crazy with it. Uh, let me try to be objective. Uh, what had happened was there were people on his team that, said that he was too touchy um that he was uh uh sexual misconduct was happening in the workplace and stuff like that so uh with all the stuff that was going on he decided to step down but his brother is actually a, <clears throat> a pretty popular news reporter for cnn and um it recently came out that i guess that he was trying to help his brother uh, with his case, so since he was doing that, CNN decided to fire Chris Cuomo. Um, very messy, very sticky situation. I don't know that much about it. I just thought it was very interesting. I know Chris Cuomo is somebody that a lot of people really liked on CNN. And I've seen a lot of people really um, felt like it was really odd that they wanted to get rid of him. Um, especially on the fact that he wasn't doing any sexual misconduct. But just because his brother. So anyway, um, I'm curious to see what Joe Rogan says here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip and see. You know, you know functional, functional strength, strength exercises. exercises. That's, That's a real weight, weight, right, Joe? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, everybody made fun of me because of the Chris Cuomo thing, man. Yeah. I thought it was real. I just yeah. I'm being naive, I guess. But so eventually I looked at it, I go, yeah, but it is kind of weird how you can move it around like that. Yeah, yeah just like a fucking paperweight. So yeah. that guy's fire now? Get rid of that dude. Yeah. Wow. Wait, and weird, for a weird, weird reason. I mean, not weird. Like, ethically, I get it. Because he helped his brother. Yeah. When his brother, I, get, I don't know how he helped his brother. Like, what did he do? Did, his brother was getting, they were, people were accusing him of sexual harassment. And so did he, like, do research on the people that... Is that so what he did? I, re I remember reading, he texted, he texted someone, someone who, like, knew of the situation, like, like what do you got on someone? Oh, that's, that's it? it? I, don't, I don't know if that's it. I just, should, should you use signal? signal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or call the guy. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. know. It's, uh, he probably didn't think anything of it. He probably did it on instinct. But yeah, he's done. What does a guy like that do when you get fired from something? I know. I thought that guy was, like, immune to everything. Well, I think CNN is realizing that their ratings are dog shit yeah. and that having these highly polarizing editorial personalities like Stelter and Don Lemon and, you know, Michael Mouse is fucking hilarious. You know what he did? He put up, he goes, now that Chris Cuomo's gone, who's the alpha male over at CNN? He put up a poll and everybody said Anderson Cooper. <laughs> I think Anderson Cooper came in first, yeah. but it's like these. Guys, they, it's I. I personally, maybe maybe this is just my bias. I want the news. I want objective news. I want someone to tell me what are the facts of what's going on and what's happening. I don't want your ideological slant. I don't want this left wing propaganda network, which is what CNN's become. The way I look at CNN now is so differently than the way I looked at CNN 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. I used to look at them as like this is how I get the news. This is unbiased professional news they're going to tell me what's happening in pakistan and what's happening in you know mogadishu this is these are this is these are the real journalists that are telling you the news now i look at them i go you fucking propagandists like what are you, are you the right arm of pfizer like what are you doing you know
It's just he's uh, not like me. <laughs> I think there's a market for real news, and it's, it's really, really hard, hard to find that now. It's really hard, especially, especially outside, outside of independent, independent sources. sources. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I guess and if you're trying to you know, take a balanced approach to things, like are you even going to be are you going to be censored to the point where you can't even be a news outlet to begin with? Right. You know, function. Um, I agree with him, man. It is hard to find real, just non-objective type of news. Like, if you just want to just get facts, there's there's people like, like I know, like you, Jamila, me. I just want to hit the facts, and then I can make up my own decision. But a lot of these news stations and media, they want to make the decision for you. You know, be like, hey, this is what happened. This is how we feel about it. So this is how you should feel about it. Like, I don't, I don't want that shit. Like, yo, this is what happened. Here, you do what you want with it. You know what I mean? Like, let people think. Let people use their brains, you know? And he's absolutely right. Like, over time, I do look at the news differently. Like, mm-hmm. I, the news used to be something, especially CNN. It was like yeah. CNN always was like your go-to, opposed from the Fox 5s and the other places and things of that nature. So, it was just, now, it's, yeah, I can't stand to watch you. And then they circulate the same thing over and over and over and over again so that they beat it in your head. And, yeah, and I love how, he, you know, he called them propagandists because, you know, I'm real big on the word propaganda and I'm just like, it's the craziest mess. And I tell people all the time like they taught us shit in school and I always say propaganda didn't go anywhere so why do we just keep relying on this news if we know for a fact there's never been a resolution to propaganda right. we just keep acting like propaganda just doesn't exist right we just let it flow like it is what it is we just just let it flow. yeah yeah the, the, what I used to do like with the news when I realized like okay like CNN is too left Fox is too right I'll go back and forth I want to hear what both sides are saying. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'll be like, okay, I'm here at CNN. I'll see what they're saying. I'm going to go over to Fox and see what they're saying. And then that would be my way of trying to, like, find the middle ground. But there isn't, like you said, just a channel you could just go get. You know what there is? There's, like, BBC. <laughs> you got to go out of the country. <laughs> you got to go out of the country to get some, like, just straight factual news. You know what I mean? And even that's a little bit. And it boils down to sponsors and money and things like that. Like, every, yeah. inflation, every, the cost of everything way too high when you have to take money to take certain stories and stuff like that where everything is just corrupt now yeah yeah to the point that i don't even watch i don't watch the movie no more i, I, don't, I don't watch it at all yeah. i don't watch i had to literally go and see who he was just to remind myself like oh yeah i know him i remember him yeah. but it says that he's seen him for 18 million over his contract like that has got to be a breach of contract in there somewhere yeah for sure yeah because i mean if he didn't do anything unethical at his job you're just going off of you know uh, that's that's a weird situation because I don't I don't condone I don't condone mis- sexual misconduct in the workplace anywhere, but can you call this that? You know what I mean? Like, can I can understand his brother getting you know stepping down for what he did because shit was too hot. He's in a really high public office, but for Chris mm-hmm. Cuomo to be a, a news reporter working on CNN for a long time and one of their top top performers, for him to be let go and fire because. He was trying to help his brother, and I mean, regardless, his brother can't be helped anymore. I mean, it's, I don't know. This shit's weird. Shit's weird. Um, it, and honestly, opinion not based off of facts. This is just what I'm thinking. Outside looking in, looks like they're just trying to do away with the Cuomo's. From what it's, what it's and, like. Exactly. And, and I don't even like how these headlines are reading. Like, they're all saying for helping his brother, helping his brother, helping. It's his goddamn brother. So, what are you saying that I'm supposed to choose my job over my yeah, brother? Yeah. Like, we just losing sight of family. And, like, this country has no morals. We stand on nothing. Right. Nothing. At all. A job? Like, they really as if our lives are really wrapped around these damn jobs. Like, no, we get these jobs to support our lives. Our lives, exactly. The other which way is our family. What? Yeah. Weird, weird shit. Weird. Top hill, top hill, top hill, hill.